Good afternoon, Sean here, Mountain's Garage. I didn't know there was going to be a part two of the transmission holding fixture video, but as often happens, and I'm not sure if it's a, a skill, an asset, or an undiagnosed condition, but in the middle of everything else I should be doing, a lot of times I'll get head down the rabbit hole, for instance, building all these adapters, and I'm okay with it. As long as I'm accomplishing something every day, I have two transmissions, three transmissions to do next week. This is going to pay instant dividends. I'm actually going to get to use them. So yesterday's video, uh, actually all, and it, all that's changed from yesterday's video to today is I painted them. I made a couple simple pins, even though I probably won't use the pin. The features there, I might as well make it work. I got to make another one for this one. I put the other one back down on the bench where it belongs. And then I kept walking by an engine stand that I have sitting over there. And I figured, no better time. If I don't do it now, I've been thinking about it for years. I never get around to it. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to make an adapter so I can put this on an engine stand as well and roll it around. If I ever took my show on the road, I've actually done that a few times, gone to people's houses and built transmissions. I could bring my own stand because chances are they're not going to have one. So, And I could also, if I wanted to do if pressure wash the outside of the case, lots of reasons I could roll it outside. Currently, I'm kicking it around the driveway. So I could see the advantages of putting it on an engine stand. And I also have a lot of engine stands. I've given a lot away for a while. It seems like every time I bought an engine, it came with a stand. That's not a bad trend. Kind of like LS engines. Every time I buy one, it has a chain attached. I have a really good streak going. Most of the time I get to keep the chain. Sometimes I have to give it back. So I dragged out a bunch of round stuff. The engine stand is two and three eighths. So I found a piece of that. I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I referenced yesterday's video if you haven't seen it. I made the adapters, one to attach to my bench, and the other one is going to be attached to this bench. There's a cross member underneath that these are going to bolt down through. Should stick off the bench the correct amount. I'm going to get all this junk off the bench. I'm working on it in my reorganization process, and maybe for the first time ever, I'll actually do something constructive on this bench. This bench. And this horizontal storage device, I've never done anything constructive on it other than pile stuff. Kind of silly. I also drilled and tapped the factory bench mount. So now I can lose the pin and just use the T-handle. Or any combination thereof. I thought about making a bolt-on bracket and I would just have the stub welded to that. But that requires taking nuts and bolts apart. It's not as simple as whipping out the whole head. And if it's difficult to do, you're not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. If it's a pain to hook up every time, I'll say, why bother? In this case, I'll pull a pin, pull the head off of the engine stand, and I'll be able to slide this right in. So this is two and three eighths, and I found a piece kicking around. I've got it marked for the pin that goes in the engine stand. So this will be able to rotate, but I won't be rotating it. I'm going to take another one of these, mark the same way, and I'm going to put the T-handle on one, and the, it'll be the half-inch hole, that'll be the 3 8 hole for the T-handle that locks it. And like I said, I probably use the T-handle to, to stop rotation 95% of the time, but I might as well drill the hole for the half-inch pin as well. So my thought, this piece was already pretty clean. I just cleaned up one end where I'm going to weld it. And they're different sizes, but they're close. And this isn't, uh, you know, a high RPM unit. So I found a socket that's going to space that up the correct amount. And I'm going to center it and I'm going to just MIG weld the whole thing all the way around 360. I'm going to line these holes up here. I'm going to drill the holes after I weld it because it just seems easier, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'll drill them first. I haven't decided. Disregard that. Those other pieces of two and three eighths that I found, they weren't quite as long. 
So this is not high tech. You saw me build these yesterday. That's just a piece of round pipe. And I'll pin this into the engine stand and the transmission holding fixture will work just like the other ones. You can tell by looking at this, but I'll tell you anyway, the last engine this was bolted to was an LS because they're missing the hole over here. This is actually the one we built for the 72 Nova last January, February time. I've joked about it before, but I have two hand crank, you know, they have the, the gear drive box on them, engine stands, and I've yet to build an engine on them. I'm always using this old one you got to muscle around. But I have two engines to build, three engines to build actually, and I got to get on that as soon as possible. So I got the stub all welded, and while that's cooling, I got these pretty much jigged up. These are going to be two half inch pins. It was just 3 8 rod for the handle. These are some uncoated bolts I had. They're like grade 2 or less. Perfect for this. And this was supposed to be my 3 8 T handle. And I got carried away when I was cutting these off. I cut the threads off these. And I whacked off a perfectly good bolt. So I decided just to make a short T handle. It'll work just fine. If not, I'll make another one. And I already have the MIG out. So I'm just going to MIG weld these. I got those all stuck together. And while they cool, I'll go ahead and drill my holes in my stub. I drilled my two half inch holes and then welded a 3 8 nut there. It's not as clean with the MIG welder. I actually had to run the uh, tap through it, but that's okay. It works good. I went ahead and, and used the pen, but in reality, probably never going to use it because having the ability to lock it with just a T-handle is always better. But I can't help myself. If there's an available option, I'm going to make it, and someday I might want to use it. So I think I'm going to like this. Maybe even better than the bench mount. I'm going to wonder why I waited so long to do it. Completely portable. Put it anywhere I want. Hmm. It's a simple stub, so I can use it as an engine stand with no, no hassle whatsoever. Just pull the pin. Hmm. I like it. It's a win. When I was welding this stub, I was trying to account for this angle so the transmission ended up pretty level. And it's close enough. During yesterday's video, Part one of the transmission holding fixture series <laughs> of two. I mentioned that I thought this was imported. I checked, more to the story in a second, it's Zamco Tools USA, and this is made in the USA. So that's good. That makes me happy. I bought one last week. I bought one a year and a half ago with the bench mount. I bought one last week without the bench mount because the ad wasn't up for the extra $24, $29, I forget now. I would have bought the bench mount, no doubt. So I paid $99 with tax. It was like $104 and change, $105 to get to my house in my hand. This is actually my old one because I put a rubber boot on the threads. I'm going to come up with a thread on rubber bumper because sometimes that scratches my paint. On the case anyway at the end of the video or before I finished the video yesterday I decided to buy one more like I said what's another $99 and I was wrong the way I expressed it the price went up $1,000 the price wasn't $1,000 it was now $1,099 for one of these and $1,124 for one with the adapter I finished the video, uh, got it all loaded up on YouTube, was out doing some errands, and I, and I decided to, I was actually at the transfer station to pull over to the side and send him a message, asking him what the problem is, because I really wanted to buy another one. I told him it must be a mistake. They thanked me for bringing it to their attention. They said they would fix just the ad for this one, because I told them I was going to buy one with the bench mount if they fixed either price. They fixed only the one for $99. I bought it. 
I got a shipping confirmation at the end of the day. If you go on there right now, the price is $1,099 and $1,124. So I don't know what's going on there. There's either a glitch on their part. I mean, they did get right back to me, Zamco Tools USA, through eBay. Or they decided to jack the price up for the weekend. Who would? Nobody in the right mind would pay a thousand bucks for that. I don't care what it's made out. If it's made out of gold, maybe, but I don't know. So I do have another one coming. They did fix the price for me. If you're interested, it was an eBay ad. I, I just searched for transmission transmission holding fixture, and all kinds of them pop out. A lot of them are imported. They look like junk. There's some gold ones on there. They got a hook back here. There's some black ones that have a hook back here. When I use my engine crane to lift the transmissions up onto the stands, I don't do it by hand anymore. I probably should, but I don't. I use a axle strap that goes around your axle when you're hooking up the straps, securing your car to a trailer. I just wrap it around either side, and this is my balance point. It hangs perfectly level. I wouldn't want the chain back here. I believe it would go like that, but I could be wrong. But I've done enough to know that I hook it up even, and it works out pretty well. So now, at least for a while, I'm satisfied. I don't need any more transmission holding fixtures. I have a lot of transmission work to do this week, and every week, <laughs> which is great. And I probably won't use that original yard sale or garage sale holding fixture, but no guarantee. I got three receiver hitches here. I don't know why I never welded a fourth one on over where you are. I should put that on my list of things to do. I'm going to have one on that bench. I could put one on the red bench I've never used. Two over there. That's enough to go at one time. I can hardly keep enough parts to put one or two together in stock. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Have a great Saturday night, and I'll catch you next time.